Good afternoon, everybody, or should I say good morning, from the 2015 Little League World Series here in South Williamsport. From the Williamsport Sun Gazette, I'm Mitch Rupert, standing alongside the one and only Dr. Chris Massey. We're going to be here every day of the tournament this week and next week to talk to you about the things that are going on here at Lomedy and Volunteer Stadiums. And this might be one of the most intriguing days we've had in a long time, Chris. Eight games being played today after rainouts on Thursday. All 16 teams in action today. Every three hours, there's a new game starting. It's pretty wild, Chris. I, I've never seen anything like this. No, I think it's a first for Little League. You know, you, you, you see something different every year. And uh, it's uh, marathon baseball today. You start at 10 o'clock. And God knows when we finish the, the 8 o'clock game is Redland and Missouri. And uh, I, I'm not expecting that to start at 8 o'clock. <laughs> no. uh, so it, who knows when we get out of here. But, if you're a Little League baseball fan, it's kind of baseball heaven for you today. You can't beat eight games in one day. I think the best part is you can shuttle back and forth between Volunteer and Lomedy, and there's always going to be a game going on. And, you know, one eight-inning or nine-inning game throws a monkey wrench into this whole plan. Yeah. But that's kind of what's fun about the day. That's what's going to be intriguing about the whole thing. Yeah, I mean, it's great. I mean, you can see everything you play today sure. if you want to, the way it's staggered. And from a media perspective, like you said, if we have the game start to overlap, it'll be interesting to see how they handle press conferences and stuff like that. But I don't, I don't think the uh, tens of thousands of fans here are too worried about uh, how it's going to affect the media today. Yeah, it's what, what time is it? We're here in the morning. It's quarter after 10 in the morning. There's already a game going on behind us here at Volunteer Stadium. I believe it's the Dominican Republic, their first time here in about 20 years against Uganda, their second time here ever. And that leads me kind of into my second question, Doc. What's the team you're most excited to watch here this year? I'm interested to see Redland uh, with everything, you know, with the crowd that they're going to bring and, and, and the awesome postseason they had. But I'd have to say California based sure. on the way they've played throughout their run here. They, they've hit 84 home runs. Uh, that's Consider their California, the field that they have to get through just to get to regionals, and the way that they were beating those teams. That I'm really interested to see them. I'm a Uganda guy because I think when they were here, what was it, 2011? 12. 2012, the first time they were here, we saw kids who could play baseball a little bit, but hadn't played a lot of baseball. So I want to see the, the step that that, even though it's a different little league, the step that the, the game has taken in yeah. Uganda. It's very, it'll be very interesting to see. Uh, we're expecting, and you've mentioned this before, some big crowds for the Redland Little League down around the Harrisburg area, probably only an hour and a half from, yeah. from here in South Williamsport. I don't know if there'll be Keystone level crowds, but these are going to be some pretty big crowds. Yeah, that's, you know, from the Redland people I talked to, they're anticipating, at least threatening that record. They they think they're going to easily get between 30 and 40,000. Uh, Bring it on. I want to see it. Yeah, I mean, that. When, when Keys, every game Keystone played up here was exciting. The first one really played Kentucky and Griffin and there was 41,800, and I think it was like 48 people here. Uh, thanks to Alex Garbrick. He uh, <laughs> tweeted me yesterday. I said it was 41,000. He, he gave me the exact number. Pitcher on that Keystone team. But that was an awesome atmosphere, and you see all the flash bulbs popping off. I mean, it doesn't get any bigger than that. I, that year, when you got to the World Final and Keystone wasn't in it, it felt like a letdown sure. because you were used to these crazy crowds here, and, and I think that's going to be the feeling that there is tonight, and especially if this team keeps winning, which they definitely could. The thing we like here, and Massey and I talk about this all the time leading up to the World Series, is the infusion of some new blood into the Little League World Series. We see a lot of the same leagues, you know, every couple of years just because they have solid programs, but we like to see new teams. South Carolina is here for the first time since 1950. That's any team from South Carolina, not just this league from South Carolina. Missouri has a team here for only the third time ever. Yeah. Uganda here for only the second time ever. The Dominican Republic here for the first time in 20 years. There's a lot of different kinds of baseball to see here this week with some new teams. Yeah, it's uh, you know starting with South Carolina. 65 years, Harry Truman was still president the last time South Carolina was here, so I think that's really uh, a great storyline. 
That's a team that could go a long way. They, uh, they're undefeated. They have some phenomenal players. Alex Edmondson, uh, one of the best players, I think, in this entire 16-team field. And they've never, South Carolina has never won a game here. They've been here twice in 1949 and 50 single elimination and they went on two in those games so they have a chance to make some history today when they play Rhode Island. And then you look at Web City, Missouri, uh, you know, only third time here. Ironically the first Web City was the first team from Missouri to be here in 2002. Uh, but same thing for Web City. That, that team went on with three so they have a chance to make history here this year. Start the night and win a game. We've gone to it's a different league this year so exciting to see them, so it, it is fun. It's, it, you have your some of your old standbys, Fairland, Texas, sure. teams like that, but it's nice to see the mix and get some of these fresh faces in here with, with chances to do well here. This is my favorite thing to do on day one of the Little League World Series. Give me your pick a week and a half from now, who's going to be playing for the title, who wins the title, Chris? I'll go out on a limb and say Japan wins the international <laughs> field. That's, you know, they're always true underdog story. Uh, <laughs> we've been I, doing we've been doing these videos for I think five years now, <laughs> and I think every year you've picked the West against Japan. Is the West your have you US pick? It sure is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I just I just think California is so balanced. I I think South Carolina, if they can get to the U.S. final, and Alex Edmondson would be pitching would have a great shot. Yeah, California's not invincible, but I, I just love the way that they're put together. I like the depth. So I think they take the U.S. field. I think South Carolina finishes second, Redland third. Um, they, I haven't seen any international teams play, but let's go California over Japan in the final. See, picking California and Japan is like picking American Pharaoh to win the, the Kentucky Derby like, or the Preakness or the Belmont. And I didn't do either of those three this year. So here's what I'm doing. I'm going Redland. Pennsylvania, because th their offense was absolutely nuts throughout the tournament, and I'm going Venezuela this year. They come from Cardin the Cardinalis Little League. Cardinalis has really good winter ball down in Venezuela, so you know they know how to play Venezuela or play baseball down there in Venezuela. So I'm going, I'm going to go Venezuela over Redland, Pennsylvania in the World Final. It's a possibility. He's telling me I'm an idiot without I'm telling me I'm an idiot. I, I think Redland's definitely got a chance to go. He on international, it's just a shot in the dark. You know, yeah. I haven't seen the teams play, so it's all, I'm just going on reputation there. And, uh, Japan seems like a safe bet year in and year out. So. That's him telling me I'm an idiot without telling me I'm an idiot. Venezuela won it in uh, 2000 here, so. <laughs> They're due. They're you, never, due. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> That's going to do it for us here from the first day. I guess it's the second day of the Little League World Series, our first day of videos. Follow all the Sun Gazette sports writers on Twitter. Uh, we'll throw those up at the end here, and we'll have updates for you the rest of the week. From the Williamsport Sun Gazette, I'm Mitch Rupert. He is the one and only Dr. Chris Massey. We'll talk to you later.